We inhabit a restless earth. This is an adolescent land in a state of constant turmoil and endless transformation. peaks of the St. Elias Range continue their climb ever higher into the sky. Volcanic Mount Wrangell vents steam into the cold, thin air, awaiting its next eruption. Titanic glaciers grind their inexorable way to the sea. And as the vast wilderness of Wrangell St. Elias only now emerges from the last ice age, the architectonics of the planet itself are revealed. I first came to Wrangell St. Elias when I was six years old, carried along by my father's dream. As for so many of his generation, his travels during World War II had awakened in him a desire for distant horizons. His dreams of Alaska most likely were born in boyhood readings of Jack London, Rex Beach, and the expeditions of Israel Russell found in old National Geographics. So one summer, Dad took our family north. Like those of the old explorers, our travels were not without incident. We endured a thousand miles of gravel on the Alaska Highway. Seven flat tires. And camping under bridges and in ghost towns. In many ways, this film began on that boyhood adventure. And to finish it, I return to the wild lands of Wrangell St. Elias, still a little known Alaska full of names that ring with romance. Skolai Pass and the Mile High Cliffs, Disenchantment Bay, Kennecott, Mount St. Elias an Alaska that surpasses all imagination. The effort to comprehend the vastness of Wrangell St. Elias is irresistible. 
in desperation, to divine the ineffable scale, we turn to the tour guide's litany of statistics. Nine of the 16 highest peaks in North America. A single glacier larger than Rhode Island. The Wrangell Mountains alone cover an area the size of Connecticut. The park itself is the size of six Yellowstones. One national park, larger than Switzerland, with higher mountains. The struggle to understand the magnitude of this landscape is ultimately futile, for Wrangell St. Elias does not lend itself to meaningful comparisons. Here is the natural world at its most dynamic. A surging, seething wilderness where the vitality of geologic genesis is ever present. mountain ranges of Wrangell St. Elias look like a succession of advancing waves, and they are. Waves of land, great terrains that have rafted up from the tropics over millions of years, like transoceanic breakers finally reaching the sands of a distant shore. The Pacific Plate dives under the North American continent along this lonely coast, buckling the Earth's crust and driving the St. Elias Range upward, more than three miles up from sea level, and still rising. The St. Elias is the highest coastal range in the world. The mountain barrier is so high it captures the intense storm sweeping in from the Pacific and holds them hostage. Climbers consider this some of the fiercest weather on Earth. In the higher elevations, more than 60 feet of snow can fall in a year. 
deepening some of the world's heaviest snowpacks. A pellucid blue sky in the St. Elias range is a rarity. Unlike the uplifted St. Elias range, the Wrangles are skeletons of formerly immense volcanoes, most of them great shield volcanoes, among the most massive on the planet. Mount Churchill, today still and serene, was the source of North America's two most explosive and voluminous eruptions in the last 2,000 years. What has carved these jagged peaks down from gigantic lava domes is ice. This is the greatest concentration of glaciers on the continent. Hundreds of glaciers, fed by ceaseless winter snows, transform the landscape. These slow-flowing rivers of ice carve U-shaped valleys. The glaciers scrape hillsides bare. and deposit millions of tons of earth in the braided brown rivers that flow down to the sea. Even as the glaciers scour the mountains down to bedrock, life takes hold almost immediately creeping up the slopes of moraines as the glaciers recede. Pads of dryas hold down the silt and begin the march of life, creating soil other plants will need to gain a foothold. Eventually, the boreal forest succeeds, so dense it hides the prodigious wildlife.
Below the surface of emerging fjords, another forest hides the denizens of the ocean realm. Elemental forces at work in Wrangell St. Elias have conspired to create avenues for life to exist. Pioneering plants, muskeg bogs, predators and prey have a grand stage on which to explore their timeless connections. Gigantic forces like the churning geology of Wrangell St. Elias regard humankind with primordial indifference. But this magnificent landscape is not merely a vast and pristine wilderness. To travel in these mountains is to journey back in time to see what much of the world looked like during the Pleistocene, the Age of Ice the same environment that shaped human evolution in northern lands. Native people have lived here for millennia, bold and resourceful enough to traverse the Bagley ice field to trade copper along the coast. We look at this empty land and imagine that it has been untouched, yet the Atna people will often have a name for a peak that lies nameless on our maps.
Survival in a harsh environment requires an intimate knowledge of the landscape. Subsistence hunting and fishing are a part of the fabric of bush life in Alaska, a symbiosis of nature and culture. Wrangell St. Elias is not an easy or forgiving place. Whatever the reasons for entering it, this wilderness requires a high degree of self-reliance. It is not that the land is hostile, merely indifferent and infinitely demanding. are transcendent mountains with the power to change the landscape and to captivate the souls of those who venture into them. I first came to Wrangell St. Elias when I was six years old. It was the first time I had ever seen a moose or an eagle or a bear. Like my father, I too read Jack London and Robert Service. Today, my Alaskan dreams are given shape by their literary descendants, John McPhee, Velma Wallace, Barry Lopez. Now that my father is gone, I come here to rediscover him. And as always in the wilderness, I find something more. This changing landscape of Wrangell St. Elias has an immutable power. In a place where the mountains themselves are evanescent, we too are changed.
I come to wrangle St. Elias not only to recapture a memory of my childhood, but to perceive the relationships made visible by this great land. Like that between the salmon and the bear, the glacier and the river, the mountains and the sea, the earth and space, father and son. To understand not only the parts of life, but the sums. 